When we think of Denmark, we imagine a country of Vikings, picturesque landscapes, and a rich, thriving culture. But beneath the surface lies a genetic heritage just as captivating, packed with centuries of history, migration, and unexpected twists that are only now coming to light. This is the story of Danish genetics, a tale that scientists have only recently begun to uncover, and one that reveals surprising links across continents, cultures, and ancient tribes. Danish genetics aren't just a product of Denmark alone, they're a mirror reflecting thousands of years of interactions with other people, from Viking warriors to early European settlers. By looking into the genetic makeup of today's Danish population, scientists can piece together clues about where Denmark's people came from, what forces shaped them, and why their genetic heritage is more intricate than ever imagined. So, in this video, we're diving into the rich tapestry of Danish genetics, exploring everything from Viking roots to ancient European migrations, from surprising genetic links to Asia to the health insights that genetic research has unlocked. You might think you know the Danish story, but we promise, there's a lot more to it than meets the eye. Our journey will look at how early Viking invasions shaped the Danish gene pool, uncover the influence of Germanic and Celtic tribes, and even reveal traces of Asian ancestry in the Danish population. We'll touch on fascinating bits of history, like how Denmark's role in medieval trade affected its people's genetic makeup and how the royal families left their mark. And finally, we'll discuss the vital role of these genetic findings in modern health and medicine. So sit back and get ready to uncover a story of origins, connections, and scientific revelations that span the globe and have shaped the unique identity of Denmark today. If you thought Danish genetics was just about Vikings, then you're in for a real surprise. When we think of Denmark's past, one word comes to mind, Vikings. The Viking Age from the 8th to the 11th century was a defining era, not only for Denmark, but for much of Northern Europe. Danish Vikings left their mark in history as traders, explorers, and conquerors. But perhaps the most lasting impact of this Viking legacy is what we find in the DNA of modern Danes today. Danish genetics are deeply intertwined with the Viking heritage, and that connection is unmistakable. Genetic studies have shown that Danish people carry specific markers linked to Viking ancestry, markers that appear more prominently in Denmark than in other Scandinavian countries. For instance, certain Y-chromosome haplogroups, often associated with Viking populations, are more frequent among Danes, signaling a strong continuity of male Viking lineages over the centuries. But Viking ancestry isn't just about genetics, it's about identity. The Vikings were known to travel, trade, and even settle in faraway lands, from the British Isles to as far as present-day Russia. This created a melting pot of genetic exchange. Danish Vikings, in particular, were involved in significant settlements in England and Ireland, which brought back diverse genes into their homeland over time. Interestingly, Viking genetics in Denmark aren't uniform either. Variations exist across different parts of the country, showing that the Vikings weren't a monolithic group, they were diverse, with different clans and tribes that brought their own unique genetic signatures. In fact, recent research has even shown that many Vikings may not have been Scandinavian at all, but were people absorbed into Viking communities, carrying their genetic legacy along with them. These Viking connections don't just add an exciting chapter to Danish history, they form a foundational piece of the Danish identity that lives on in the DNA of modern Danes. So while the days of Viking raids are long over, the legacy of the Viking spirit lives on, written into the very genes of Denmark's people. Asterisk long before the Viking era, Denmark was already a land of travelers and tribes. Ancient migration patterns brought early European tribes to what is now Denmark, setting the stage for a diverse genetic heritage that even predates the Viking Age. So who were these early settlers, and what influence did they have on Danish DNA today? The story begins with tribes like the Germanic and Celtic peoples who arrived in Denmark during the early Iron Age, around 500 BCE. These tribes left their mark on Denmark's landscape and language, and also on its DNA. Genetic analysis has shown that modern Danes still carry markers linked to these ancient tribes, suggesting that their arrival was crucial in shaping Denmark's early gene pool. 
Evidence of these ancient migrations has been found in archaeological sites across Denmark, where scientists have uncovered graves containing artifacts that show a mix of Germanic and Celtic influences. By analyzing ancient bones, researchers have found that some genetic markers found in today's Danish population can be traced directly back to these early European settlers, a testament to how deeply they integrated into Denmark's genetic tapestry. But what's fascinating is how these early tribes didn't just settle, they mingled and traded with neighboring cultures, spreading genes across regions and creating genetic diversity. In some cases, these early Europeans even traveled as far as the Mediterranean, forming early trade routes that would later be expanded by the Vikings. These interactions made Danish genetics an even more intricate mosaic. So, when we look at the DNA of modern Danes, we're not just looking at a snapshot of Viking ancestors. We're seeing a genetic record that goes back even further to the ancient movements of Germanic and Celtic tribes who roamed across Europe and found their way to Denmark, leaving a legacy that is still present in Danish DNA today. There is here's where it gets even more surprising. While Denmark's location in Northern Europe might make us think its genetic history is purely European, Recent studies have uncovered genetic links between Danes and populations as far away as Eastern Europe and Central Asia. How could this happen? Asterisk. It turns out that Denmark's geographic position and centuries of trade and exploration have connected it with regions far beyond Scandinavia. During the Bronze Age, Denmark was part of an extensive trade network that linked it to other parts of Europe and even into Asia. Researchers believe that goods weren't the only things traded, genetic material was exchanged as people traveled along these routes. Scientists studying ancient Danish genomes have found traces of ancestry that seem to originate from Central Asia, possibly connected to steppe populations who were famous for their mobility and extensive trade routes. These Central Asian genes found their way into Northern Europe and, eventually, into Denmark through these networks, which predated even the Silk Road. One fascinating theory is that groups of people who traveled through the steppe regions to the north of the Caspian Sea made their way into Europe and intermingled with early European populations. Genetic testing reveals that modern Danes share some small but significant genetic markers with these ancient Eurasian populations, suggesting that Denmark was never isolated but was connected to a broader genetic landscape. These findings challenge the idea of Denmark as a closed-off region in the north and reveal it as a key player in ancient global connections. The Danish people today carry these unexpected links to Asia in their DNA, a reminder of how the ancient world was much more interconnected than we often think. Asterisk Denmark's strategic location along the Baltic and North Sea made it a hub for trade, and where there was trade, there was often a sharing of culture, ideas, and genes. Over centuries, Denmark's genetic makeup was influenced by merchants, traders, and settlers from all over Europe, adding even more diversity to the Danish gene pool. Asterisk As Denmark grew into a key trading post, it attracted people from all over, the British Isles, the Netherlands, and other parts of Northern Europe. This influx of traders and settlers left their mark on Denmark's genetics. For instance, many Danes carry genetic markers similar to those found in populations along the Baltic Sea, showing just how far-reaching Denmark's trading connections were. In the medieval era, Danish ports were bustling with activity. Places like Ribe and Hedeby weren't just economic centers, they were melting pots where people from different cultures mixed, forming families and blending their DNA. It's even believed that Denmark's royal families and nobility frequently married into other European royal families, creating genetic connections across borders. One of the most intriguing aspects is how this trade also introduced resistance to certain diseases. People traveling from diverse regions carried different immunity genes, which, when mixed with local populations, strengthened genetic resilience against diseases. These ancient trade routes weren't just about economic gain, they fundamentally shaped the genetic fabric of Denmark. Today, genetic studies show that Danes have markers linked to several different regions, a testament to Denmark's rich history as a crossroads of Europe. Living in a northern climate like Denmark isn't easy. Long, harsh winters, low sunlight, and cold temperatures, these conditions have influenced not just Danish culture but, as scientists are discovering, the very DNA of Danish people.
Over centuries, natural selection has worked to fine-tune certain genes, adapting Danes to thrive in this challenging environment. One of the most fascinating adaptations is linked to vitamin D. In a place where winter days are short and sunlight is scarce, the body's ability to synthesize vitamin D becomes crucial. Scientists have found that certain genetic markers associated with more efficient vitamin D metabolism are more common among Danes. These adaptations allowed the Danish population to maintain bone health and immune function, even when sunlight was limited, a necessity in Denmark's climate. Additionally, Cold tolerance is another genetic trait that's been shaped by natural selection. While Danes aren't the only people adapted to cold climates, studies show that specific genes affecting metabolism and fat storage have become more common in populations from northern regions. These genes help regulate body heat, providing a slight edge in surviving cold temperatures and making life in the north just a bit more manageable. And let's not forget diet. Traditional Danish diets were rich in fish, grains, and dairy, foods that provided essential nutrients, fats, and protein. Over time, Danes developed genetic adaptations that helped them digest lactose, the sugar found in milk, long into adulthood. This lactase persistence is particularly high in Scandinavia, where dairy farming has been a staple for centuries. Today, Around 90% of Danes can digest milk without any issues, a genetic trait that's been passed down and remains part of the modern Danish identity. These unique genetic adaptations tell a story of resilience and survival. They remind us how the environment has shaped not just Danish culture and traditions, but the very biology of its people. Through these adaptations, modern Danes carry the legacy of their ancestors' ability to endure and thrive in one of Europe's more challenging climates, a story written in their DNA. Denmark has a rich history of royal families and noble lineages, and the genetic legacy of these influential figures still runs through Danish veins today. In medieval Europe, royal and noble families held incredible power, not just politically, but genetically, as their unions often shaped the lineage of future generations. Medieval Denmark saw strategic marriages among the elite, often binding noble families across Europe. Danish royal families, including the influential House of Oldenburg, intermarried with royalty in Sweden, Norway, and beyond, even reaching the courts of Russia and England. These marriages didn't just unite kingdoms, they mixed distinct gene pools. This is why certain genetic traits common in Denmark are also present among royal descendants in other European countries. One of the impacts of these royal unions was the preservation of specific genetic traits. For instance, certain blood types, as well as rare genetic conditions, can often be traced back to noble and royal families. By studying Danish nobility, scientists have gained insight into how these lineages influenced modern Danish genetics, carrying both unique traits and, sometimes, genetic disorders. What's interesting is how Danish royals were often involved in preserving genetic diversity across European aristocracy. Denmark's royalty often sought alliances with other noble houses, introducing genetic traits from France, Germany, and Eastern Europe into the Danish gene pool. Today, DNA analysis can track these noble connections, revealing a web of shared ancestry across Europe's royal families. Beyond the genetic specifics, this royal influence has shaped Denmark's national identity. The intertwining of noble bloodlines left a lasting mark on the genetic map of Denmark and Europe alike, showing how history, politics, and genetics are interconnected. In many ways, the legacy of Danish royalty lives on, not just in palaces and crowns, but within the DNA of modern Danes. Genetics isn't just about understanding the past, it's also a powerful tool for shaping the future. Today, scientists studying Danish DNA are making groundbreaking discoveries about health and disease, helping predict health risks and personalize treatments for Danes and beyond. One area where Danish genetic research has made strides is in understanding genetic predispositions to diseases. Studies have shown that certain conditions, like cardiovascular disease and type 2 diabetes, are more prevalent in Danish populations. By studying these genetic markers, researchers are working to develop targeted interventions that could help reduce these health risks among Danes. 
For example, a particular variant of the FTO gene, often referred to as the fat gene, has been linked to obesity and metabolic issues. This gene variant appears at a higher rate in Scandinavian populations, including Denmark, and is the subject of research focused on managing weight and metabolic health in personalized ways. Understanding these genetic predispositions is crucial for healthcare providers as it enables them to offer advice and treatments tailored to the specific needs of the Danish population. Moreover, Danish genetics have been essential in research on genetic conditions like cystic fibrosis and certain cancers. Denmark's long history of genetic data collection, including health records and family histories, has created an invaluable resource for researchers. This has helped scientists identify patterns, like how certain gene mutations are passed down and which family histories may increase risk for specific diseases. This data helps scientists develop more effective treatments, not only for Danes, but also for populations worldwide. Personalized medicine is becoming more and more of a reality, and Danish genetic research is at the forefront of this shift. By examining the unique genetics of Danes, scientists are learning how to predict and even prevent diseases before they occur. So while studying Danish genetics helps us look back on history, it's also paving the way for a healthier future, using the DNA of today's Danes to unlock a new era of medicine. As we've journeyed through the twists and turns of Danish genetics, one thing is clear, Denmark's story isn't just about Vikings or royal legacies. It's a complex, interconnected web of history, migration, adaptation, and resilience, all reflected in the DNA of its people. Each chapter of Danish genetics, from ancient migrations and Viking ancestry to the influence of trade routes and the legacy of noble lineages, reveals a new layer of Denmark's past. These discoveries show how deeply connected Denmark has always been with the world, blending genes and cultures over thousands of years. But the legacy of Danish genetics isn't just a relic of the past. It's a blueprint for the future, informing medical advancements, health strategies, and even our understanding of human evolution. Through DNA, scientists can see how the choices and lives of past generations continue to shape the Danish identity, giving modern Danes insights into both their heritage and their health. So, whether it's the Viking spirit still visible in genetic markers, the resilience shaped by a northern climate, or the royal bloodlines that connect Denmark to Europe's nobility, Danish genetics tell a powerful story of survival, adaptation, and connection. It's a legacy that doesn't just belong to the people of Denmark, it's part of the broader human story. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the genetic history of Denmark. If you enjoyed exploring these surprising origins, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment with your thoughts on the most surprising aspect of Danish genetics. Stay tuned, because there are always more stories hidden within our DNA, waiting to be uncovered.